Hold up. Oh. oh. Giant. Oh. Shit. Oh. Wow, dude. Yo, we're at Bass Pro Shop, baby with Hook360 and we got Captain George coming with us today. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna try to go get largemouth, peacock bass. It's gonna be a good day. This is what I, this is what I would get right here. The nice Mako 18 TS. Man, you know the inshore fishing we can do in this and the bass fishing? <laughs> with the mini All right, so right here, we're in Doral, Florida. The cool thing is by the airports, full of lake, all from the canals system here in Miami. This one's full of only largemouth bass, not peacocks. So that's what we're after today. Throwing a half ounce chatterbait. Uh, it's a pearl jig. It got, it's a peanut butter, believe it's a peanut butter and jelly skirt with just, you know, a little natural shad trailer. 40 pound braid and a bait caster. They'll eat every time. <laughs> Little nice. chunk. There you go. Oh, guy. Nice. <laughs> there he goes, son. Yeah, it's a solid like two pounds. Yeah. Uh, as uh, our boy over here, George, caught a, a nice two pounder. Uh, actually, right here, right now, I got about. There's about three bass on mine, um, on my lure here, which means they're probably on his too, because he's got the chatter bait. So that's probably drawing them in very nicely. Uh, we have a ton of rock piles over here, so that should always help us big time when it comes down to finding bass, the rocks. And the ledge is only about maybe seven feet, and then after seven feet, it just drops down. George, you know how big, how deep this thing goes or no? Uh, I'd say maybe like 20 feet. It's man-made. Yeah, yeah, no more than, I'd say like 16, 17. Yes, yeah, about 16, 17 feet, so. Like real? Yeah, you want to make sure that, you want to make sure your bait looks real. Yeah, but if it's dead, they'll still eat it. So the cool thing is the way these baits are, here, I'll show you. So the way these baits are, you see this tail? Yeah. So this tail right here, when it's going down, it's moving the whole time. So it looks like it's still alive. It looks like it's running away. So Wait, there's your fish like little fish. Exactly. So you get the concept. A bait fish, which is the small fish, yeah, will get eaten is. by what? Yeah, but when it a goes down, exactly. when it goes down, or an alligator. Well, that too. All right, so spot number two. We're out here in, again in Doral, but we just moved spots. We're on the canals. So here we might catch some peacock and largemouth bass. We moved because honestly, um, the other spot, it wasn't just panning out. So we decided while the light is still out to keep going. So one thing with, with the canals, everyone thinks you got to throw them in the middle and let them sink. Honestly, if you throw it on the sides and reel them in through the sides, that's your that's your money maker right there. Whether it's peacock or largemouth, the same thing applies. So. more of a complicated knot than most people do. Um, I believe it's called an imperial knot. So I just go around twice, leave the loop. I have my lucky number seven, so I count four, five, six, seven. People could tell me that's excessive, but I might have done eight by accident. Oops. Um, usually that's my lucky number seven to catch fish. So superstition, got a you know baseball backer. And then all you have to do is just tighten it real quick. And you're back in business. Hold up! Oh. oh! 
giant. Oh. He ain't PB, but oh, he's big. Wow, dude. Cool. That's Bro, really cool. that's giant. Like that on the chatter. Like I said, gets them every time. Big. Oh, that's, that's a big girl bay right there. Yeah. Dude, that's what. Seven hundred. Dude. I'd Maybe say so, eight? bro. Yeah, dude. That's a healthy fish. Like, Oof. No, you're good, dude. Dude, congrats, man. That's a good one. Dude, I was, this is literally what I was like waiting for. Yeah, dude. I, I was so tired of throwing that bait. It's a big girl bait, though. I thought he meant don't, I thought he meant don't sneak up on No, no. <laughs> that's, that's literally what I did with the other one. See you guys in episode. The best of the best. I'm not gonna lie though, if it's in the water, the little back, backlash bass would be pretty cool. <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue where it went. I'm trying to so loose because of the trap. Oh. Hold on. Hold it. Hey, nice. That's like a four. This is chunky, dude. It's like a bad, four bro. pounder. Look at that. Nice! Nice! Right here, man. Yeah, dude, good, dude, solid. That's a nice fish. Bro, look at this. It's a fat one, man. You dude, think it's spawning? Yeah, I think fat. it's spawning. I think it's a little pregnant. What does it say? Wow. The dude. fish are really fat, bro. Dude, that is awesome. Awesome. Dude, that is solid. Hold up. Dude! Hold up. Oh! Yeah. Snap. Little guy. Nice. <laughs> you guys killed Dude, it. Dude, that was solid, man. This one could man. probably eat that one. Ooh. Never mind. Sorry. That was the line. I thought it was a fly. <laughs> Let me see that one. Right here. Dude, this one. Look at this. What do you think this one's about? Three or four? Uh, that's a three and a half. That's a three. Three yeah, and a half. I can yeah. three and a half. Awesome. It's a fat fish. So, what do you think about the spots? All right, these spots are fire, which we're not telling anybody where, if, unless they don't see the back line. <laughs> but honestly, man, this guy over here, let's let's point it over here, man. Right now, what we're doing is pretty much just hopping around a secret location, and we're looking for largemouth bass. We're looking for big girls right now. So what we're doing is throwing big baits, big presentations. Uh, we got big baits in the area, you know? So like, lots of bluegills, tilapias, uh, Mayan cichlids, all that kind of stuff. So just throwing big swim baits and chatter baits. Big swim baits and chatter baits for, you know, big bass, like I said before, and hopefully we'll get some more. Pink grass. Do it, I Oh! Ooh. Go, go, go! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. No! Reflip. Nice one. Yeah. It's beauty. Yep. I know, it's always the book bag you're like, huh? Oh. Where'd you get those? It's a nice. Nice, dude. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, he took it, man. Yep, 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 yep. Right in the corner of the mouth. It's a double up. Whoa! Dude, this is a little, a little guy. There you go. Switching yeah, up the rolls. We're now. switching up on that one. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Bring it in, bring it home, baby. Oh! Yeah! Nice! Yeah, that's a lively one, man. Imagine a company who cares so much about the outdoors that it empowers the world to enjoy it. A company that fights to minimize their carbon footprint and support conservation for a better tomorrow. A company that wants our next generation to enjoy the great outdoors. Welcome to Hook 360. 
premium gear plus conservation equals outdoor happiness.